Good morning, children. Happy Sunday to you all. You are welcome to Sunday school today. A compliment of the season. The season of Christmas is coming. Now, this morning, before we start our lesson, the Sunday school, let us close our eyes and pray. Our Father, we thank you for this morning, for bringing us to this lesson, for bringing us to church today. Thank you for mom and dad. Thank you for everyone. Thank you, Lord, for the season of Christmas. Thank you, God, for helping us to come and learn from you. Lord, come and teach us. Make us a good boys and girls. And at the end of this lesson, oh Lord, we want you to come and save our soul. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, children. And children, I want you to look at this picture. That's it. What did you see? A baby and the mother. A baby and the mother. You can see how that baby, the mother, cuddled the baby very well. Yes. And who can remind me the title of our lesson today? Yes. Born in Bethlehem. Can you say it all together? Born in Bethlehem. Thank you. When a baby is born, you see how the mother called you. So that's, and before we go into our lesson, we have some Bible text to read. Can you take your Bible and open to Luke chapter 2, verse 1 to 7. But we are going to read a few verses, verse 1, 4, 6, and 7. Luke chapter 2, verse 1. You read along with me. And it came, uh, verse 1, And it came to pass in those days that there went out a decree from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be tasked. Verse 4, And Joseph also went up from Galilee out of the city of Nazareth into Judea, into the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and lineage of David. Verse 6, And so it was that while they were there, the days were accomplished that she should be delivered. 7. And she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in a swandy cloth and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. Thank you. From where we have read now, if you remember your last week lesson, how the angel talks to Mary and Joseph. The angel appeared to Mary and said, you are going to give birth to his son. And again, the angel appeared to Joseph and explained to them that they are going to bring forth his son, which is going to be called Jesus. So today, we are learning how Jesus Christ was born. Before we go to that lesson, we have a memory verse to learn. Can we read them together? After the count of two, one, two. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. St. John chapter 3, verse 16. That memory verse, we all know it. And we all... In the way we read, because last week, angels has appeared to Joseph and Mary that they are going to have a baby. This lesson, we are going to learn how the baby was born. And as the angel has told them that they are going to have a baby, and today's lesson in verse 1, it said there was a decree, that is, there was a law that they should go back to where they were born to be registered, to be counted. So Joseph and Mary, they were going to Bethlehem to be registered according to the law of that land. And as they were going, Children, you know the lesson, the, the story. What happened on the way? There was no way because it was time for Jesus to be born. And a lot of people were in that city because everybody comes from different places. And we have lots of people there. There was no space, no room, no house to enter, nowhere to sleep. And it was time for Jesus to be born. And they went from one place to another. Was no room there was no place 
Everyone was saying, no room, no place. Some of them were so rude, but they were calm. Mary and Joseph were calm until they came to a place. And the innkeeper said, where there was, there's no room, but we have a small place, which is where they, they kept the animals. And where that place is warm, if you want to manage it, they humbly and they thanked the innkeeper and they went in into the manger. And that's where Jesus Christ was born. Jesus Christ was born in a manger where the animals was. Can you see it? So that brings us, and when Jesus Christ was born, Mary carried the baby and cuddled and loved the baby. You know, when a baby is born in your house, what do you do? You love that baby and you like that baby, isn't it? Yes. That's what Mary and Joseph did. They cuddled the baby and they loved that baby. And Jesus was born in a lonely place, a place that is quiet, that is not even beautiful. Because nobody, there was no place. Nobody wants to take them in. Jesus Christ is a special baby. Although he was born as we were born, because he wanted to come so that he will be able to know when you are crying, when you are sad, Jesus will know that. When you are in trouble, Jesus has gone through all those things. But he is a special baby because he was born by the Holy Spirit. Today, God is teaching us that we should allow Jesus Christ in our hearts. Let Jesus come into your heart. How? You have to pray and confess your sin. And tell Jesus you are not going to do it again. That's how Jesus will come into your heart and you will become a good boys and girls. But if you refuse and you start doing bad things at school, at home, you don't listen to your teacher, you don't listen to your mom and dad, and at church and you are fighting, that is... You don't allow Jesus into your heart. Just like those people those days. And they allow Jesus to be born in, animal, in, in a place where animal is kept. No. You don't want a death in your heart. And Jesus Christ says you want to come into your heart and make it clean. So today, you are going to pray that you want Jesus to come into your heart. Because Jesus wants to save your soul. The lesson is teaching us. That even though at Christmas we celebrate Christmas and a lot of things, sometimes you can open your gift and you find that mommy have bought you, you unwrap it and you find that you find a lot of things in your Bible, in your uh, Christmas gifts. You have this, you have ties, even iPad. Mommy bought you iPad or daddy bought you iPad or mommy bought you maybe birds, a lot of things. Or you have teddy for Christmas. Yes, you are happy, isn't it? They are very good things. More than that, mommy might have bought you different things you wanted. Or you have asked for Christmas gift. What do you want for Christmas? And mommy and daddy bought it for you. Yes, and you are happy. Yes. But if you allow Jesus Christ into your heart today, and you are saved, you confess your sin, and allow Jesus into your heart, that's the best thing, gift, that we needed. That's the best gift. That God wants us to have. All these things are good, yes. But God wants us to, as a child of God, we've come to church. God wants us to allow Jesus to come into your, our heart. Confess your sin. Jesus, I don't want to lie again. I don't want to steal again. Come into my heart. Write my name in the book of life. That's the best gift that Jesus wants us to have this morning. May God come and set our thanks in Jesus' name and help us to pray and love Jesus into our hearts. Because Jesus came to this world so that we can be saved from our life of sin. Children, that is the end of our lesson. The key statement is, I want Jesus in my heart. You want to say it? Yes, I want Jesus in my heart. May God help you today so that Jesus will come into your heart. Amen. The activities for ages um, 2 to 5, I just wanted to draw a picture of Jesus. You draw a picture of baby Jesus and Mary and Joseph. Why ages 6 to 8 says God sent Jesus. Why did God send the son to earth? Use the code and write the answer on the lines above the numbers. Our next week lesson is 
the angels and the shepherds. Memory verses, Lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone round about them. Luke chapter 2, verse 9. That is the end of our lesson. Thank you, children, for listening. Good morning and welcome to Sunday School. I hope you all had a wonderful week. The title of our lesson today is A Letter from Dad. Our memory verse is a very common one and I'm sure we can recite it together beautifully. Let us start after the count of two. One, two. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. John chapter 3, verse 16. Well done. That was beautifully read. Our Bible text is taken from Matthew chapter 1, verse 21, and Matthew chapter 2, verse 1 to 15 and John chapter 16 verse 27 but we're only going to read selected selected verses so take your bible and open with me to Matthew chapter 1 verse 21 21 and she shall bring forth a son and thou shalt call his name Jesus for he shall save his people from their sins. We're going to Matthew chapter 2, reading verse 1 and verse 2. 1. Now when Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, in the days of Herod the king, behold, there came wise men from the east to Jerusalem, to saying, Where is he that is born king of the Jews? For we have seen a star in the east and are come to worship him. Close your Bible and put it to the side as we continue on with the lesson. When you think of Christmas, what comes to mind? We think of pretty gifts. We think of loved ones. We think of happy moments. We think of things that bring us joy. We think of receiving gifts and giving gifts. We give gifts that we believe our friends and family would love and what they need at that particular time. While we celebrate Christmas, there is a very special gift that is given already to us by God himself. That is the gift of Jesus Christ. And that's the main reason why we celebrate Christmas. So Christmas is not so much about eating all of those good food and looking forward to gifts from your uncles and your aunties and your parents. But more importantly, it is a reminder of the perfect and the best gift that God himself gave to you and to me, to all of mankind. And that gift is Jesus Christ, his son that came to earth to die for you and for me so that we can have eternal life. Can you remember our lesson story today? Charlotte and Emmett got a letter from their dad Unfortunately, he could not be at home with them for Christmas that year because of work. But in the letter, it reminded Charlotte and Emmett about the beautiful moments they've shared together as a family from the moment they were both born. And more so, that very special Christmas. Do you remember what happened? At that particular time, Charlotte heard about the story of the birth of Jesus and she prayed that it would be born in her heart. God saved her and the joy of heaven filled her heart. 
Emmet saw the joy in Charlotte's heart and he too went on his knees and prayed. In that letter, their father said that that was the best Christmas because in that moment, they all had that special gift that God alone was able to give to every single person. At Christmas, we give our gifts out of love and also what we think the person that receiving it will need. God knew that for us to have a relationship with him, we needed the gift of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ had to be born in this earth. And also, that was our only way of receiving eternal life. Charlotte and Emmett realized how special this gift from God was and because of that they opened their heart and they received that special gift into their heart and that for them was a point of them becoming part of the family of God. So today as you celebrate Christmas, are you part of the family of God? Remember, God has already given that gift to every one of us. It is up to you and to me to receive that gift. Just as how we appreciate and we receive gifts from all our loved ones. God has loved us so much, as our memory verse said, that he has given us this gift. So if today you have not yet received that gift from God, it is another opportunity for you to open your heart and be saved. By so doing, you are receiving that perfect gift and that love from God, which is in Jesus Christ, his son. And this leads us to our key statement. Jesus is God's perfect gift. To me, let's repeat that again. Jesus is God's perfect gift gift to me and it is also the same for you jesus is god's perfect gift to each and every one of us and today let us take that opportunity to be sure that jesus is born in our hearts even as we celebrate this special time of the year all god requires is for us to come with a true heart for us to confess all our wrongs and ask him to forgive us and help us never to go back to them again and that special joy that fills my heart and also fills the heart of charlotte and emmet will also fill yours today amen that is the end of our lesson our activity for this lesson is titled gift freely given complete the words by using the bible text next week we will be looking at lesson one two one titled sticking together let us pray our father and our god we thank you for a time in your presence we thank you for the primary powers lesson we thank you for the answer lesson we thank you for your word of life and your word of truth that you always speak to our heart. Oh Lord, please come and help us today. In every age that you be born in our heart, both the very little children and in even the all the classes and even the adults as well, our parents, and every single person, our friends as well, through this special time. Come be born in our hearts and let us have that special celebration that you want and let us reign eternally with you forever. For your mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Have a wonderful Christmas season and see you next week. Bye. Thank you boys and girls for joining today's Sunday School. We hope and pray you enjoyed. Have a wonderful week ahead. God bless you. Bye.